T Fit here, Fit Bully TV. Look, I wanna go through some measuring stuff. I think we get confused sometimes when we see a dog and they say, hey, I got an XL. Dude, hit me the other day and dude. he said, man, I got an XL. Look, this right here, that's an XL. Now you say, hey, that's a skinny XL. He's an athletic XL. I don't breed for size and I ain't selling those by the pound. But let me be clear, if you've got a dog under, let's take a look here. If you have a dog under 20 inches, a male, under 20 inches, American Bully XL. If you have a, a male bully under 20 inches, it is a standard, okay? If you have a pocket, which we're gonna measure here in a second, at the withers to be clear, if you have a pocket that is over 17 inches, meaning it has to be 17, under 17 inches, under 17 inches at the withers, it's not an XL. A guy said, hey, I got an XL such and such. I said, the dog was short. He said, oh, he's only uh, 17 inches. I said, he's not an XL then. Well, he's 110 pounds. I said, probably not that healthy either. So, do not get confused. Now, let's measure the dogs out because we're talking the withers. Try. You're doing a good job. This right here is the withers. Muscles attached to this right here. So, you measure. We got our tape here from the ground, aka where his paws are at. That's where his paws are at. And look here. Right there, he's over 20 inches, to be clear, at the withers. And they really right here. He's over 20 inches. And as long as the dog, repeat, male dog is over 20 inches, he's an XL. Tron's only nine months old, so his lapel will hit a slight growth spurt, which means he'll maybe hit maybe one more inch or half an inch, and then he'll begin to spread out. Got him from the UK. We're gonna measure our little pocket bully right here. He's, got, he's our pocket buddy, Balu. <laughs> Bless his heart. <clears throat> Tron, stop, leave him alone. Again, and Baloo's got more pronounced withers, so you can see from his head to here. This right here is that little bump that you see in your dog sometimes. It's got like a little ramp. That's his withers. Look at this dog. Ground to his withers. That's 17 inches. If I had the teeth in, you see he is under 17 inches. He's a midget. No disrespect, people. I know it's small people now, but still. He's a midget. He's under 17 inches. That's a pocket bully. Baloo, ironically, is about, was he 65 pounds? Mm hmm He's 65 pounds. If he was 150 pounds, it wouldn't matter unless he was over what? 16, 17, 20 plus inches. Females, I believe on the XL brand, uh, standard, need to be over 19 inches. Guys, how much your dog weighs, we're not selling dogs by the pound, means nothing in comparison to where it ranks on the pocket standard classic. I think at one time there was an extreme class uh, XL. You've, right now, we've got XLs, standards, and we have a pocket. We're not breeding more pockets, to be clear. That ain't my thing, but we needed the pocket for breed type. And, we've got, and I, he had a good pedigree. Good pedigree as far as DNA goes. So, how to know is the question. How, what class to rank your dogs in? Go look at the abkc.net or abkc.org. Measure your dog right here. Look at this. That right there, this little muscle right here, those are his withers. You can see it more pronounced in this case, but also a scapula, aka where those muscles are. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. We'll talk about muscles and the breakdown of muscles. Matter of fact, how many, how much muscle, how many muscles does a dog have? I'll give you a hint. 350 pairs. You do the rest of the math. That being said, like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. As always, take care of your dogs.